Hi, thank you for joining our Illuminati webinar. In this webinar, I'm going to show you how to set up your crawler and bot and proxies to ensure the highest success rates. And I'll be focusing mostly on commenting, liking, and creating posts, as well as content curation without getting blocked. So I want to start by explaining why your crawler needs to be connected to a proxy network. So your crawler needs to be anonymous on the web, which will allow you to connect to social media, networking sites that you know many people have had difficulty with with crawlers. And the most successful way to do this is by accessing IPs that are not your own, or in other words, connecting to a proxy network. Uh, Luminati's proxy network will first send your crawler's request through a super proxy. And that's going to override your original IP address and ensure you are anonymous. Next, we are going to route your request from our super proxy to a real user. And what I mean by real user is a user is a PC or mobile that is now online. And we call that a peer, and I will continuously call it a peer. Um, our Luminati proxy manager is what we're going to use to optimize, control, and view all of your traffic. And that's what we're actually in now. But first, I want to show you how to set up your Luminati account. And I'm going to go here to the dashboard. Um, first, I would suggest installing the Luminati proxy manager. So if you don't have that already, in on the left hand side of your main page you'll see proxy manager and then ways to install it now we're going to go up a little bit to zones so here i'm going to create a zone and um, a zone is an ip permission for what i want to use so here i can choose whether i want to access our data center network or our residential network with country targeting or our mobile network. So first here, I'll click the network type. And then once I've chosen my network for residential, I can actually choose the geolocation, so country, city, or ASN. Um, so next, I'm going to, so make sure you have the right price plan. And now we're gonna click save. Um, I wanted to mention, I chose the uh, residential with city targeting because this is what is best for a high success rate with social media and once you've done this we can go back to our LPM and here I'm going to click on new proxies on the top left and this is what's going to give us all of those options to really manipulate those chosen IPs so when I say manipulate I mean those IPs will act and be seen as you want them to so when you click on the new proxy, you have the options here to choose which zones. You can have multiple zones, and you, here you can actually choose which zone you want to specifically work with. So as I mentioned, residential with city, and for us, that's called new underscore city. And now I'm going to choose my preset configuration. And I want to choose the long single session IP, which is best for this use case because I want to be able to fill out stuff or comment and I don't want my IP to be rotating. I want to mention you can change this preset configuration at any point and this doesn't, you know, this isn't set in stone. So once I'm done that, I press save. And the first place I want to start is, so click on the proxy you just created. And now I'm going to start with targeting. So with targeting, I get to choose that specific city. So if you're calling zones, I merely provided the permissions to do so. And now I'm going to specify, okay, I want United States as the country and Orlando, Florida. And you can just input them here. So as you see though, ASN and carrier are not available because we did not allow for those permissions when we created the zone. The next tab I think is the most relevant will be the request speed tab. So with the request speed tab, first I want to set DNS lookup. And this means that um, 
the translation of the IP address to the URL will be made on the peer side. And I'm gonna choose remote resolve by peer. My peer being the real user PC in Orlando. Next, I wanna set the minimum number of super proxies. Um, I'll set it to two, meaning only two super proxies will be used in parallel. And last, I wanna set when I wanna switch the super proxy on failure. And here I'm going to set that to 403. 403 is an error code, meaning the site is blocking your request. And that's why I've chosen this error code. And our rules tab will help you overcome that. So here I'm going to go to the rules tab. And what I want to do here is I'm going to set a rule which will take the IP and uh, the request will first be sent from the residential network with city. Now I said I'm getting that 403 error code and then I want that IP, that request sorry, to retry with a new IP and I'm going to be using a mobile zone for this. So I'm going to show you what I'm referring to. So for rule type I choose status code. Now here under the status code string to be scanned I'm going to choose 403. And my action type is going to be retry with new proxy port or the waterfall. Now, I really want to retry using a new port and I want to use a mobile IP, but we haven't created that yet. So what we're going to do is go back to our dashboard and now we need to create a zone with those permissions. So we're going to add a new zone. I'm going to choose mobile. And now I have that. It's called zone 106 in this case. And once I've created that, I can go back to my proxy manager and choose the port. So I've already set this up and I know that uh, 2409 is my mobile proxy port. And now, I, now when a request fails with the residential network, it will automatically go to mobile. And what I can even do is send an email. So I can set an email that I want. If this does occur and I do get a blocked request, I can actually get an email updating me to let me know that this is occurring with my crawler because most of this is happening automatically and I want to find out about it. So we also have a lot of other rules and these rules will really allow you to set conditions to manipulate your crawler's traffic. And I will mention a couple other ones later in this webinar. But now that we've set up our proxy manager, we wanna ensure that our crawler works with these proxy settings. So now I'm gonna to go to um, two crawlers and these are the ones I really wanted to show you which is multi-login and Jarvi and for both I'll show you how we're going to add the Lunati Super Proxy IP and the relevant port. So here I'm in multi-login app and I'm going to go to the browser profile and under the proxy tab I'll choose the connection type as HTTP proxy. Um, I want to mention that in some cases you will want to use HTTPS for the secure connection, which is really common with social media. And right now the option to use multi-login with HTTPS and Luminati will be added by multi-login very shortly. Right now it isn't available. So regardless, with HTTP, you're going to put the address here. The address for our super proxy is 127. Dot zero dot zero dot one. And the port is going to change based on if you want you know, your crawler to use the residential, the mobile. And here we're going to use residential because we know only if it fails, it will go to mobile. So I'll choose my residential with city, and that is 24,002. Um, in Jarvi, it's going to be uh, very similar. Here I merely go um, on the left to my proxy manager tab. and Rather than having it separated in just one field, I'm going to put both IP and port. So now that we've got that set up, um, I'm going to go back here and I want to show you the other rules that I wanted to implement as well. 
So you actually can have multiple rules all working in tandem. Um, so like, for instance, when a bot is curating content such as posts and comments, it may hit a captcha. So under a rules tab, we actually have a solution for this. And we can make a second rule. And here I want to choose for my second rule, HTML body element. And to trigger this rule, I'm going to implement here to string to be scanned in body as captcha. Now with captcha, I would suggest refreshing or retrying um, the IP as my action type. And I will actually set my number of retries to three. And I want to mention, do not set this to more than five because then um, it could cause an issue. So until now, I've set a lot of rules to ensure a high success rate. And I want to summarize that so first, when you send a request, if it were if it is to fail, it's going to try with a different super proxy. Now, then if it gets a, a forbidden error code, it will retry with our mobile IPs. And if the request hits a CAPTCHA, it will refresh or replace the IP. And that's what we've done so far. Some other important settings you may want to use are these other tabs, you know, are within the other tabs on the right. So let's start with the IP control tab. And here you will find uh, the Keep Alive section. So Keep Alive basically pings an IP to keep it connected. And in this example, I'm going to set it to five. And again, this is going to ping my IP every five seconds to keep it connected. Now, also, if you're opening a new, uh, new social media accounts, I would suggest changing the headers. And to do this, I'm going to go to the headers tab. Here I can choose my user agent, such as Chrome or Firefox or anything like that. And um, otherwise, I can also choose a random user agent. So in this case, I've chosen yes. So as you can see, one will gray out. So if you want it random, you can't choose it, which makes sense. And then we have override headers as well. So if you want to um, completely to override them. Oh, and here you've got the custom. So here, if you know exactly which headers you want to use, here you can implement the custom headers. So another thing I want to mention is um, the majority of uh, social media requests are HTTPS. I mentioned that when I was talking about multi-login app, but I wanted to let you know that what you may need to do is go to the general tab and actually enable your SSS logs. And you might need to actually download a certificate, which is um, available on the main page on the right hand side. So you download the certificate, then you have access to the HTTPS, and then you can go to, and you've already enabled it on the general tab. So you can see all of the requests and their status codes. So once SSL is enabled, your homepage will display all of your requests from all of the ports and all of their status codes. Now, if you wanted to focus on a particular port, you can go to the logs tab in the ports settings, and this will show you um, the port it came through and the bandwidth and which super proxy it came from and basically all of that information. So that is everything I really wanted to show you for accessing social media and how to you know really manipulate IP and some of the settings that we do offer. And I hope this webinar helped you and please feel free to contact us with any questions you may have. Thank you.